So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe Anime tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can create a light effect on the buttons. So I'm in the HTML5 canvas and I have created a document which is 300 by 600 and I will uh, go ahead to the rectangle tool and I'm going to choose some kind of fill color and maybe I can go with uh, something blue like so and I'm going to draw a shape like uh, this. Uh, if you want, uh, what you can do is uh, in these rectangle options, I have it in here, but maybe it can be in a different place, depending on the version, you can put some number and it is going to make your corners, corners rounded. So it is going to create uh, something like uh, something like this. And uh, I think that uh, this looks better, uh, but uh, maybe I will go with uh, something like uh, 40. Uh, so I'm going to create uh, something like this and the bad thing uh, in here is that uh, once you create the shape you just cannot make uh, change this rounded uh, corners and you will have to do it one more time if you want to have this differently. But I'm going to have something like this and I'm going to get the text tool and I will get the white uh, color and I'm going to type something like uh, by now or whatever button that you want to have and I'm going to uh, scale this uh, down a little bit so maybe like this and I'm going to and I'm going to position it like uh, like so. If you want what you can do is uh, you can go to the uh, you can go to the align and you can uh, select both of them and you can align them uh, horizontally and uh, vertically like so so right now they uh, are uh, in the center. And uh, now what I can do is I can select it like so and I can click F8 or you can go to the modify, convert to symbol and uh, I don't want this uh, to be a symbol button even though we are making a button, I want this to be a movie clip. So I'm going to go with this and I'm going to click uh, OK and uh, now we are going to have this as a movie clip and what I can do is uh, I can uh, double click in here and I'm going to be in the new timeline and by the way I will just show you uh, so you know I will create a new layer and I'm going to create uh, very very quickly uh, one more uh, button so I'm going to do something like this and I will get a text tool and I will uh, type something like uh, hello whatever I'm not going to be bothered about it but I just wanted to show you that uh, if I'm going to uh, hit F8 and I'm going to convert this to the button and not the movie clip and I'm going to click OK uh, once I'm going to double click on this one it is not going to give me a normal timeline but it is going to give me uh, some kind of different timeline so uh, so that's the difference and in here I could create new keyframe and I could uh, change this to maybe uh, I could change the color maybe like so and I can go ahead and make the text uh, bigger so something like this and I'm going to hit control enter. So basically if you create the button uh, like so you can uh, do something like this but uh, you cannot and I will go back, uh, you cannot be this kind of button create the animation that I want. Uh, so that's why I have converted this to a movie clip and uh, now I am going to double click on this one and I'm going to be inside, the, I'm in the scene one, uh, in the symbol one and in here uh, what I can do is uh, I'm going to select it like so and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose distribute to layers. So right now I'm going to have this shape separated on the layer and this text separated on the layer and uh, I am going to uh, duplicate this uh, this shape so I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to choose uh, duplicate layers and I'm going to position this uh, up and I'm going to click on this and I will change the color to maybe red it doesn't matter which color that uh, is uh, we are going to have and uh, right now I can uh, just uh, show you that we have on one layer this shape on the second one we have the text and on the third one we have this uh, this one and now what I'm going to do, I can temporarily hide this uh, red thing and I'm going to create a new layer and on this new layer I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm going to make a white color and I'm going to create uh, something like uh, something like this and I'm going to convert this to the symbol so I'm going to click F8 and I'm not going to be bothered with these names but make sure that it is movie clip, we don't want this to be button and I will click OK and I will, uh, I will go to, the, to these filters there is this plus sign, add filter and I'm going to choose blur and I'm going to, to blur this like, uh, like so 
And now what I want to do is uh, I would like to extend my timeline for all of the things. So with the shift, I am going to select this like so. I will click F5. And uh, now uh, on this layer 4, uh, I can go ahead and call this to be effect like so. And uh, I will go maybe to frame uh, 10. I don't know. And I will create the new or maybe frame 20. I will see F6. And I am going to I'm going to animate this uh, this like uh, like so. But uh, at the at the beginning, I would like to maybe have this uh, in here, and I'm going to uh, create classic twin. So basically, right now we are going to have this uh, this blurry shape, uh, which is going to go uh, like this uh, over our button. And let me let me change the 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 stage to maybe I don't know. Uh, something uh, like this, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I want you to see that this effect is going to be uh, all over the place. And what I can do is uh, right now I have uh, this uh, this shape and I can position this about this effect and I can uh, right click and I can choose uh, mask. And uh, now uh, what is going to happen is that this uh, light effect is going to be visible only only where is the where is the shape and i'm going to hit control enter and we are going to have something like this and by default this is going to be this is going to be looping forever and if you want of course and i don't like these colors but <laughs> i'm not going to be worried about it but what you could do i'm going to uh temporarily unlock this and maybe on this first keyframe i can uh, position this like so i'm going to hit q and i'm going to rotate this little bit and on this one i'm going to put it a little bit down and i'm going to rotate it uh, so right now we are going to have an animation like so and I'm going to lock them. So right now this is going to be a little bit uh, like so in the little angle. And I'm going to hit control enter and yeah, we are going to we are going to have something like this. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is it. This is all. This was just very quick tutorial on uh, how you can do something like this. So if you have watched until the end, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you have learned something. And yeah, uh, maybe I will see you in some other tutorials. Goodbye.